Welcome to Hot Picks, bringing you the top five bets to make this weekend. I'll keep the disclaimers short and sharp this week. The first one is this isn't about picking the obvious results. We're trying to find value in the bets to maximize our profit. The second thing is you have to wait 10 to 15 minutes into the game to place the bet in play. This will give you an idea of how both teams have set up and how the game is going. And in some circumstances as well, you can also avoid those dodgy games where the team that you're not backing gets a lucky goal in the first five ten minutes of the game first up in familiar ground in the premier league we've got brentford at home to leicester now this was surprising to me but brentford actually have the sixth best home record in the premier league they've won seven games drawn five and only lost one game in those 13 home games they've scored 27 goals and conceded 13. brentford will be able to exploit leicester's weaknesses at defending counter-attacks and defending set pieces two areas that Brentford excel at. In Ivan Tony as well, they've got the league's third highest goal scorer behind Haaland and Harry Kane. And in the form that he's in at the moment, expect him to get on the score sheet in this game. Leicester are an interesting team who have had a mini resurgence in the second half of this season. However, they are still are battling relegation, so may have extra motivation for this game. They have lost their last four games, albeit against st strong opposition. In 13 away games this season, they've won four and lost nine. So it seems to either go one way or the other for Leicester. Uh, and they've conceded 29 away goals this season, the third most in the league. Frankly, Leicester appear to be in free fall, and so I expect Brentford to capitalize here and take the win. Home win at odds of 1.95. Next up in the French Ligue 1, we have Toulouse at home to Lille. For a mid-table side, Toulouse have one of the most potent attacks in the league, scoring 25 goals in 14 home games. But with a strong attack also comes a leaky defence, and in those 14 home games, they've conceded 21 goals. Both teams to score has hit 67% of the time when playing similar strength opposition to Lille. Lille are also strong in attack away from home, scoring 21 goals in 13 away games, but have a slightly better defence, only conceding 15 goals. Lille's away record is mixed with five wins, three draws and five losses. So I expect Toulouse to approach the game in an attacking manner, expecting to get something from this game. If Toulouse do approach the game in an attacking manner, this should lead to an open game. Both teams to score here is offered at 1.62, but if you wait 10 to 15 minutes into the game, you should be able to get it for 1.85. Staying in France, but going to the French Ligue 2, we have Bordeaux at home to Nîmes. Bordeaux are a large historic club in France but are currently playing in the second division but they're seeking promotion back to the top league this season, sitting in second place. Bordeaux have the fifth best home record in the division and in their last four games they have won two and drawn two. They come up against a Nîmes team who sit second from bottom and in 14 away games they have lost nine, drawn five and only won once. In those 14 away games they've also conceded 20 eight goals, which is the most in the division. At odds of 1.62 for the home win here, it's really hard to look past the Bordeaux win. For the fourth pick in the German Bundesliga second division, we've got Sandhausen at home to one of my favorite teams from this series, St. Pauli. Sandhausen are in last place in the division and haven't won a game in their last seven games, losing five of those games. They have the second worst home record in the division, winning three, drawing three and losing five. They've also conceded the second most goals at home this season. Now onto St. Pauli who might be one of the most informed teams in Europe right now. Uh, St. Pauli had a bad first half to the season as we spoke about in other videos, but right now they have won their last seven games, including results against strong opposition. If they can keep this momentum going, they have an outside shot at the final promotion place in the league, and so they should be highly motivated for this game. Ignore the seasonal data here for St. Pauli. They are in striking hot form, and with the away win offered odds of 1.95, I think this is really great value. And for the last pick, we go to the Italian Serie B, a league known for its strong home advantage with Sud Tirol at home to Spal. Sud Tirol are a newly promoted team in this league, but seem to be doing quite well, sitting in fourth place in the division. At home, they have won five, drawn eight and lost two, 
but their home form is better, winning two games and drawing two games in their last four. Spal, on the other hand, only a few seasons ago were actually in the top league in Italy. And after a few seasons now in Serie B, there is a real risk of relegation for them this season as they sit in second last place. In 14 away games, they have won two, drawn six and lost six, but in terms of away form, they have lost their last four away games. There is real value here in the underpriced home win, which is given at odds of 2.15. Remember, you've got to wait to see the first 10 to 15 minutes of the game to see how the teams have set up and how the game is going. If you want to follow all the bets I make, I have a dedicated Telegram channel where I post all the picks I make as and when I make them. So to see whether I go ahead with these picks and for picks covering more European leagues, follow the football bank on telegram thanks for watching and until next time goodbye